Humanity has somehow not only developed the ability to soar through the sky faster than the speed of sound, but we've also discovered a way to keep the pilot alive if their plane blows up in the process. Most military aircraft and some small commercial planes have ejection seats, but having to eject from an aircraft is never a pleasant experience, even when everything goes well. The human body is simply not designed to withstand the kind of punishment that a fighter pilot experiences when he decides to ditch out. But thanks to extensive research and experimentation, pilots now have a 90% survival rate during ejection. To obtain accurate data, all of these experiments are carried out in a well-organized environment. A portion of the research is being conducted at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, where engineers at the site ensure air crew members can access fully functioning survival kits following ejection. The priority of Air Force Life Cycle Management Center team is to conduct tests on ejection seat survival kit. Another location where such testing is conducted in the United States is the Holloman High Speed Test Track, where scientists and engineers use a rocket train mounted in conjunction with an aircraft cockpit to test ejection seats at incredible speeds and determine how effective they will be at keeping their occupants alive if the worst were to happen. The 10-mile-long track allows for controlled ejection experiments at extremely high speeds, simulating the conditions of a real ejection. Much of the testing is performed by Martin Baker, the world's largest manufacturer of ejection seats, with 53% of the market. It produces around 500 seats per year, with production fluctuating in line with military aircraft programs. A quarter of the Martin Baker seats are used in training aircraft, a quarter in fighter trainers, and roughly half in fighter jets. The seats are developed, manufactured, and tested at the company's Denim, UK headquarters. Ejecting from a moving aircraft at speeds faster than the speed of sound can be extremely dangerous. At those speeds, the force of ejection can exceed 20 Gs, where 1G is the force of gravity on one's body. At 20 Gs, a pilot is subjected to a force equal to 20 times his or her body weight, which can result in serious injury or even death. With such high stakes, testing aircraft ejection seats has been an important part of the aerospace industry's testing for decades. During field testing, Identifying and tracking aircraft ejection seat systems has practical benefits in post-test analysis and real-time tracking applications. A typical ejection test at Martin Barker Denim Workshop involves a seat's actuator being placed inside a climatic chamber as part of certification testing. Thermocouples are attached to parts of the electronics to measure temperature. Outside of the denim workshop is a metal tube which is 82 feet long and around 16 feet in diameter that is used for test firing the seat's rocket motors. Each rocket motor installed in a seat produces around 3,000 pounds of thrust when fired, with multiple firings occurring in less than 0.3 seconds. Inside the testing tube for rockets, engineers measure loads, forces, and pressure. Testing at different temperatures is accomplished by putting the rocket motor inside a climatic chamber, then quickly moving it outside to the rocket tube. Also located outside is a centrifuge, used for testing seat electronics and power systems. The systems in the seat are activated and connected to the aircraft using electronics. The batteries in the seat must be able to function in the same harsh conditions as the aircraft. The ejection seats can be in service for up to 40 years and must meet an array of standards, many of which Martin Baker engineers themselves have helped to develop. 
to ensure that requirements can be met. Test engineers also collaborate closely with the design and manufacturing departments. The primary goal of a seat is always safe ejection, but other requirements are derived from that, such as ensuring efficient separation from the seat, canopy, and ejection parts, and managing head and neck loads. Chow Grove Airfield in rural Oxfordshire hosts Martin Baker's test aircraft fleet and a suite of bespoke equipment used for ejection testing. A separate location in Northern Ireland called Langford Lodge is where the company also runs a sled and rail. The company uses the world's oldest fleet of flying test beds to test its ejection seat models. After passing all of these tests, the ejection seat can be immediately put into large-scale production 